So at our old home in Columbus, I had these beautiful passion flowers growing on our chicken coop and we are getting ready. We actually have a fun surprise we'll be talking about shortly, but I thought that it would be a great idea to share with our friends and family the story of the passion flower. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it represents the story of the resurrection, the passion of, of Jesus Christ, but we just thought it would be a fun gift to, to give to our, especially younger children, this time of year, so that way it's ready to be planted in their gardens in the springtime so they could start it from seed. But let me show you up close what the actual passion flower is. So this is, a be I mean, it is just one of the most beautiful things, and this grows very well in the southeast. But it has beautiful, the, the, the petals on the bottom layer represent the apostles who were, you know, faithful to Jesus. And then the beautiful bluish hairs that go around the entire passion flower represent the crown of thorns. And then this, uh, the three, um, I can't remember if that's the stigma or the stamen, but the three um, purple parts from, uh, represent the three nails that were, uh, you know, to hold Jesus Christ on the cross. And then these were the five underneath represent the, uh, the five wounds that Jesus Christ represented. And then as you grow the passion flower, it's actually a really woody vine. And it has these little tiny tendrils, and they say that that represents the whips that were used um, on Jesus Christ. But I thought it would be nice to actually grow some passion flowers from seed. Now, I don't really have a whole lot of luck with seeds. I'm really fortunate that I have a lot of growers who do this part for me, but I thought it would be just a fun gift to share in these gorgeous little tiny close jars. They're actually like little mini greenhouses. So um, I found these at homeart, H-O-M-A-R-T dot com, and um, they're just like these little tiny dessert pedestals, but I thought, why can't we use these for greenhouses? They would work really well to help germinate seeds. And then I took simply took some reindeer moss and layered around the bottom of it, and then I collect all kinds of different terracotta pottery. And so I have a large collection of all different sizes of terracotta pots, but this is about as big as you can go. And um, so I simply, we're basically just going to, let me untake, take this off so I can show you. So I filled up, you wanna use really good potting soil when you're doing this, when you're germinating a seed. So um, I just put in the reindeer moss on the bottom, and then um, I just filled up the container with a little tiny terracotta pot. And I bought these off of, this is um, Passiflora Corilla. I can never pronounce any of those things, so don't worry about it. But if you're listening to me on my podcast, it's P-A-S-S-I-F-L-O-R-A-C-A-E-U, wait, C A. E R U L E A, and I just got them off of West Seed Farms, and I, I didn't pay a whole lot for this. I think this may have been, you know, three or four dollars, but it's a total of ten seeds. And if you get up really close, they're really tea tiny. But I'm simply going to just place a seed in the. Um, let me kind of take these out. Oh my goodness, they're in a little tea tiny Ziploc bag. Wow. They're really tiny, but um, you wanna make sure that you buy really good seeds. And let me, I'm gonna take these out. Now, I know some people have actually seen use tweezers to do this, but I'm just gonna use my bare hands because like I said, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with the seed, but, and they're, they're pretty easy. You can just grab with your two fingers, but these are also some great little tools that you may wanna, um, you know, give, but you simply just take this uh, in there, put the seed in there, and then you want to make sure the, uh, the soil stays nice and moist. And we're just going to layer that into this cute little close jar. 
And like I said, we're gonna share this with our friends and family, the story of the passion flower. So it's written on the back of these cards and um, just a really nice way to give this as a gift. And then this is gonna be a little mini greenhouse. So you wanna make sure that you keep this in full sunlight and then you also keep this indoors but be sure to remove the close jar at times to kind of give the plant you know fresh air to breathe but if you don't want to share this with your friends i also think this would be a really pretty centerpiece to use during the holidays you could have a collection of them to watch the different seedlings grow and then you also can give these as gifts for any of your guests who are coming over for christmas to um, share with them at their place setting that's also a really neat fun thing to do but uh so then you'll have your seed ready to go this hopefully will germinate fingers crossed be sure to check out my um, instagram i'll be showing you progress of my seed my passion flower seed but um, that way after the first frost you can put them in the ground and they'll be ready to take off now when we had this growing in columbus on our chicken coop um, it was probably about a 10 by 8 run that we had and it only took two years to take over. So is it the passion flower is an extremely aggressive vine, but it is just delightful. I can't tell you how beautiful you can look at the picture and you can also take a you know just look it up. But it is just one of the most beautiful blooms, and you're like, oh my goodness, I just can't believe that that's actually real. It's that pretty. But they say it was used by the missionaries in South America when they were, you know teaching about Jesus Christ and the story of it. But it, what a wonderful way to share, you know, the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas and then let them take this home with them, tell the story, and then all, and then, you know, and then let them put it in their garden um, in the springtime. So anytime we are giving gifts, we always like to have some kind of meaning behind them. And we just thought this would be a great way to share again the story of Jesus at Christmas by using the beautiful passion flower. So be sure to stay tuned and we'll be showing the progress of our passion flower growth and from seed and wish me luck. And I wish you luck at growing yours as well.